welcome back to this week's Intivix Office 365 Tips and Tricks. My name is Brandy, and today I'm going to show you how to use this very underutilized yet useful feature, Format Painter. It's not a new feature, so some of you might already know about this. For those of you who don't, the Format Painter lets you copy all of the formatting from one object, such as color, font style and size, and border style, to multiple pieces of text or graphics and apply it to one other. Think of it as copying and pasting, but for formatting specifically. Here I have a sample table of contents document that I've opened, and I'm gonna show you how easy this feature is to use. So let's get started. I'm looking at the chapter one heading, and I wanna make it stand out. To do so, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to bold it. Now I'm gonna change the highlight color And now I have to change the actual font color as well. There, and now it stands out. Now I wanna apply the same formatting to the heading of chapter two. Highlight the section you want copied. And in the top ribbon of your home tab, click on Format Painter. As I move my cursor down to chapter two, you'll notice that my cursor it turns into a paintbrush. If I copy the formatting and I let go, it automatically changes the formatting, not the text. Now, once I've done this, the format painter is automatically turned off. But now let's say I wanna change multiple sections. Highlight the formatting section you would like to copy. And I'm gonna copy this section here because it's italicized and I wanna bring that same italicized font down to chapters two and three. Instead of clicking on Format Painter once, I'm going to double click. And then watch what happens when I double click in this section. It automatically changes. And now that I'm done, I'll simply hit my Escape button and you'll watch the paintbrush disappear. And there you have it. Now you know how to use Format Painter, and it's really easy. I'm hoping you find it as useful as I do. As a reminder, if any of the features we discuss during our weekly tips and tricks do not work for you, please contact your local IT department, as you may need the feature turned on, or you might not have the licensing. Thank you so much for listening, and I look forward to speaking with you all again next week.